We have breaking news from Indonesia. A Lion Air Boeing 737 MAX 8 carrying 189 people crashed into the sea this morning. The first crash should not have happened. The second crash is inexcusable. When you think about airlines who have a, a profit margin of sometimes only three or four percent, this has the potential to really transform their business. This is an airplane that will continue to have a competitive advantage to not only our competition today, but competition in the future. Race to build the new planes and compete with Europe's Airbus pushed the production schedule into overdrive. Instead of 47 planes a month, 52 were being built. As the pilots of the 737 MAX were scrambling to keep control of the plane, they desperately began sourcing a handbook, struggling to understand why the jet was lurching downward. The Indonesian investigators found the black boxes. It records a very comprehensive tally of what happened on the airplane. Something was putting repeated nose down pressure on the airplane. Reporting showed Boeing knew that it was risky, but their response was to blame the pilots. Stunning announcement from the FAA. New evidence begins to show a connection between Sunday's airplane crash in Ethiopia and the Lion Air crash five months earlier. Data from the Ethiopian plane is similar. Up and down, then up again over a very volatile two minutes. American Airlines pilots asking months ago to Boeing officials, why didn't they know about this new flight control system? The crew performed all the procedures repeatedly provided by the manufacturer, but was not able to control the aircraft. We're going to be issuing an emergency order of prohibition to ground all flights of the 737 MAX 8 and the 737 MAX Nine. Safety is at the core of who we are at Boeing. Thank you, most important to the relatives who have lost loved ones. If you could please stand so we could thank you. Sammy experienced six minutes of roller coaster terror. So did the others on the plane. The plane plowed into an Ethiopian farm field. In the over 1600 page original flight manual of Boeing 737 MAX, the aircraft's new MCAS computer system was mentioned only once, once. S Senator, if I could try to respond to your question. First of all, the, the premise uh, that, that uh, we would lie or conceal is just not consistent with our values.
With new flight control software and updated pilot procedures, the 737 MAX has been cleared to take off. Nobody deserves to go through this kind of grief and this sorrow and pain when it could be prevented. And we want the MAX 8 to be safe before it is returned to the public again. If they meet the terms of the agreement over the next three years, the charge for conspiracy to defraud the FAA, that will be dropped. It was a sweetheart deal. It wasn't justice. And by giving this immunity, basically the decision makers have not been held to account. 